Does this bronze sculpture look familiar? Then maybe you've seen the life-sized version in Central Park. It's called The Indian Hunter by John Quincy Adams Ward. He made it in 1866, and it established his reputation as an artist. It was so popular that in 1869 he was commissioned to do a version for the park. It was the first work by an American sculptor to be installed in Central Park. If you want to find it, it's on a path between the mall and the sheep meadow at approximately 66th Street. Ward's sculptures, like the Indian Hunter, were popular with the general public and respected by critics. Notice all the details, like the concerned look on the hunter's face and the ribs showing through the dog's side. And see how the figures are in realistic poses, alert and ready to face whatever they've just seen. The careful detail and the natural poses were unusual for 19th century sculptures, which were mostly classical works like marble portrait busts and statues of famous men. Ward showed that you could combine classical composition with realistic details and natural subject matter. He chose an American theme, but he modeled the young Indian's pose after the Borghese warrior, an ancient Greek sculpture in the Louvre. He sold many small reproductions like this one. During his life, he had it cast four times to meet the demand. By the way, you can see other important sculptures by John Quincy Adams Ward in New York City. He did the statue of George Washington that stands in front of Federal Hall. And he designed the frieze of sculptures high above the entrance to the New York Stock Exchange.